Hi everybody, this is Jack Hurley, Superintendent of Schools, for another edition of Word from the Superintendent. And uh, I want to start off by thanking the uh, approximately 300, 350 people, I didn't take an accurate count, of our parents and community members who attended our security uh, forum, uh, which Chief Russo, uh, Detective Anderson and I, uh, spoke about our training, our plans, our, our collaboration with police in terms of school security. Uh, if you were there, I appreciated the time and uh, effort it takes. I know everybody's busy to come out for a two-hour meeting at night. If you weren't there, on the website that you're watching this video, there is the uh, video uh, of the entire presentation, including the questions and answers from uh, the public. So if you have any um, interest in seeing it, revisiting it, it's here on the web. And as we said, any uh, questions can always be addressed toward me, to Chief Russo, to Detective Anderson, or to your building principals. Once again, um, thank you for attending. And uh, any uh, more discussion about the security, I think the best thing to do would be to go down, find the video here on the website, and, and watch it. Talking, as I said, I was going to be talking more about facilities plan. We're still in the development stage. Uh, the board will be making a uh, decision probably in June about A, whether to go for a referendum or not, and B, what to include in the referendum. Obviously, what we're presenting uh, to the community, I want to remind everyone, came from a year-long study of the Strategic Planning Committee of, of school and community uh, individuals and their recommendations of where we should be addressing program and facility issues. Uh, so we've included answers to most of, not everything that was in their report. Um, and whether or not we go forward with all of that or some of that uh, is yet to be determined by the board. That said, I want to encourage people to get involved and to read and voice their opinions and their support or their questions or concerns. In speaking to a few people at the uh, security meeting last night, uh, anecdotally speaking, before and after, uh, and I said last night because I'm filming this the day after the security meeting, um, I was surprised that some people weren't even aware that we have this project going on. It has been the subject of, of a lot of these uh, blasts of mine. It's been on the website. We had a superintendent's roundtable in September, and that video presentation has been up on our website as a separate link. If you're on the website, which you should be if you're watching this, right? You go down, you'll see a, a link for facilities, and if you click on there, it takes you to things like the video presentation and the early plans that were developed. We have new plans that will be going up. So if you're, there's been articles in the paper, in our newsletter, uh, and a lot of discussion at board meetings. If you're not up to speed, I invite you to please uh, visit and get up to speed. We need to have your voice heard. If you are up to speed on it, talk to your friends, talk to your neighbors, let them know about it, and also let us hear um, what your thoughts are, because it's important that we make a very informed decision going forward. What this proposed referendum and facility plan would do, it would add district-wide 21 classrooms to our already overcrowded schools that will be growing uh, by several, well, by 100 plus students in the next few years. Doesn't seem like a lot when you say that, but when you put 30 or 40 more students into Pierpont, 30 or 40 more students into Lincoln, 30 or 40 more students into the high school, this is examples, those crowded conditions get extremely crowded. So it would add 21 classrooms. It would add state-of-the-art science labs. It would add two gymnasiums at Union and Pierpont that will be similar to the gymnasiums that are currently at Lincoln and Washington. So for school and community, and community use, we would have a, a full um, uh, resource of every one of our buildings of adequate gym space. It would improve and, expand, uh, improve and enhance the only field we have, the backfield of the high school. It would improve and enhance our lunchroom at Pierpont and our cafeteria at the high school and give us the opportunity for food service. It would also address hand, uh, handicap accessibility issues at, and air conditioning issues at the kindergarten center. Uh, it would also um, deal with uh, the abilities in our other buildings to have more uh, climate control, uh, more aesthetic 
uh, and functionality of certain wings that are 60, 70 years old, most no notably the Mortimer Avenue wing of the high school. So there's a lot of good stuff in this plan. Uh, we're hoping that we can see it through and get it done to enhance our buildings, but more than enhance our buildings, to provide room and space that we need for our students. The most important thing you could do is be informed. So I invite you to look at the website. I invite you to attend the board meeting on March 26th. That's a special board meeting in which we will have our architect, uh, PSA, it's the name of the architectural firm. We will have our <clears throat> project management team, EPIC, there. They'll be talking uh, about the plans and some of the revisions that have been made to the plans with the board. Uh, they'll be answering questions from the board, and it'll be a very informative evening. If you can't make that night on April 12th at Union School at 7 o'clock, you uh, you'll be able to come and hear a presentation by me, and hopefully I'll have all my facts straight when I'm giving that presentation. Uh, Mr. Kelly, our business administrator, and once again, representatives from the architectural firm and the project management firm to talk to the community again about the plans, how they're being developed, also to talk about what might happen in and around the schools if the, there is a referendum and if it's approved, how the construction in these facilities might impact uh, schools going forward, because that's important to know too. We'll also be trying to talk a little bit that night about what we can anticipate as far as tax impact uh, again, we can't know for sure until we hear back from the state what, what funding they'll give us, because they will give us some funding, until we hear back from uh, the bonds of what the percentage of bonds would be. But we can give a pretty good guesstimate in dealing with state officials and our bonds advisor, and we'll be talking about that at the April meeting as well. And also in April, on or about April 1st, April 2nd, uh, we'll be launching a dedicated website with a lot of information about the facility's plans and potential referendum. We'll be announcing that out to you all, and you'll be able to get to that website through our regular school website. So, a lot's going on. A lot's going on in a planning stage. A lot's going on in a projection stage. A lot's going on in how can we address problems that we know are coming down the road with enrollment, that we know are coming down the road with enhancing our curriculum. I spent this morning at the county office with a whole bunch of school districts talking about more and more enrichments and embellishments of, of curriculum that are necessary, required, and also mandated. And having the facilities to be able to deliver that curriculum is important. So we have a lot going on. And it's a plan right now. It's a concept right now. In order to bring all of it or some of it to fruition, we need to have the involvement and ultimately the support through a referendum of the community. What we want is a totally engaged and informed public and a totally engaged and informed school community. So please visit our, the resources we're making available to you look for those additional resources, and if you could attend the board meeting or the April 12th meeting, that would be a, a wonderful opportunity to find out what we're thinking about and what we're asking you to partner with us on, potentially. Okay? So, until next time, this is uh, Jack Hurley, the superintendent of schools. For those of you who will be celebrating a holiday at the end of, of this month, um, whether it be Passover or Easter, it coincides. Uh, I, I wish you a, a happy holiday, and hopefully spring will be here soon. Uh, until next time, like I said, Jack Hurley. Thank you.